part four. Quick round. So William, apart from the the book where you learnt about the windmills, what are some of your favorite books? Um, hmm. <laughs> I um, I. I um I like like different like um different like books. Either it's like um just like st- stories um um autobiographs of like people. Um, I just see. I I just want to like to I, I'm interested like reading like the uh, book and trying to see to learn what other people other people are doing or um sometimes running um the the history like uh, history books uh trying to see to learn what happened in the past i i enjoy that type of like uh, that kind of like books and uh can you tell us some of your favorite quotes um they say like if you don't build um if you don't build your idea your idea or if you don't build your i think if you don't build your dream or if you don't build your idea somebody is gonna hire you to build there oh yes i've heard that before <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like uh it's it's not like um i mean you can it's a good thing like to get it hired but sometimes it's like uh you if you take like too long you'll be oh, i wish i did um yes I, I I wish I did this like this the same idea that I had but yeah it's, you didn't do anything about it <laughs> so yeah like I had that idea of Facebook but I, was, I just never took action I don't know why I didn't get that <laughs> if only I would have been a billionaire by now <laughs> <laughs> yeah so do you have any apps and other resources to recommend in terms of like not like necessarily like uh, apps or Lisa says I, I always just like try to uh, look up stuff like uh, online what uh, what other uh, what other people uh, are doing or oh, there's a lot of like um, there's a lot of like um, for the apps I love I like uh, using YouTube there's a lot of like videos like on YouTube either like the um DIY like do yourself yes. uh, kind of like project it's like you can uh, find some some kind of like that type of um, a project yeah. or there's the this um some website like uh, which one is this one it's like um instruct instru- instruction it's like it's just like people like it doing like how to make different like things so for me i just like, like to see to use that type of like um information but um whenever i'm trying like to try like to do something i always like try to see um on the on the uh youtube to see if somebody has done something like that just like searching uh, something it's sometimes i'll be like wow so many people try like either they have tried to do it or they have done it before yeah. so it's like yeah, that, that's a whoa, whoa, one area one resource that i always like try to use yes uh, do you have a morning or evening routine uh, no it's um i don't have like as like uh as like as a, a routine but i mean like sometimes um um sometimes like in the morning like the uh, coffee it's like um starting with the coffee oh. so, yeah. <laughs> uh this episode is sponsored by starbucks no, i'm just joking <laughs> <laughs> uh, so william apart from you know the when you cooked um goat poo with your mother's favorite pot what was your most embarrassing moment um apart from that what was <laughs> but that's a good one maybe we can keep it there we can keep it there <laughs> yeah I, th- I, th- i think that one was the most like embarrassing like moment <laughs> yes did <laughs> he answer that question so, uh, so <laughs> could you tell me something that very few people
people would know about you? People don't know. Oh, I can skate, I think. Oh. That's like not a lot of people know. I mean, I I can a little bit like scared. <laughs> so. Oh, scared of what? What you get scared of? I, 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 no, ice skating. Oh, ice skating? Yeah. Oh, you like ice skating? Yeah, I can do that, yeah. Oh, tell me. <laughs> me too. If I come to America, I'll give you a call. We'll go ice skating. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. <laughs> um, so how do you define success? Um, for me, like it's success, it's all about like um, um, achieving what you wanted to achieve. So either it's like a small or big. If you put up like a goal and being able to achieve that goal, for me, that's uh, that's uh, that's success. Um, because sometimes people think like success, it's either like being. Um, yeah, when you're being like leech or getting like money, that's it. some people they think that that's like success. But I think for me, success it's like just achieving, achieving uh, whatever goal you set up. If you be able like to get that, um, you are you are success. And uh, or either sometimes you're gonna be success without like achieving the goal that you set up. Either like you fail, but you have learned uh, why you failed. To me, that's uh, that's success because um, you try, and the, if you're gonna do it next time, maybe you might uh, do different from what you did uh, the first time. So, um, so for me, that's how I define uh, success. And what are your plans for the next three years? I'm excited to hear this. For me, um, I'm continue. Um, I'm still like continue like interested in two um, uh, energies, like uh, renewable energies. So I'm gonna still like uh, still like working on that. And the 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 water um, water pump kit for irrigation. That's one other thing that I'm I'm gonna be like continuing like uh, working on because. Um, in in Malawi, almost like eighty percent of the population are farmers, but we are still like struggling. So I want to find the ways how I can be able to um, to help out like in 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 that area in, in agriculture. Yeah. Uh, William, where can people find you? Um, find me as the um, so I'm like. A, always like back and forth between uh, here um, um, here like in the US and like um, Malawi so um, um, most of the time like people can be able like to if they want like to contact me they can go like uh, on my website there's a there's a uh, there's a link that people can be able like to email me if they want like to find me and then they can be um, we can be from there. They can be able like to uh, to contact me and find me. Could you just give them the details of your website? So the details of my website it's uh, called like um um it's a www uh, dot uh, William um, dot com. So there it's where I always like try to share um, the stories of things that I'm like doing if you wanted like to um to find me either like you, you are trying to get in touch to talk to me or you want me um to participate in an event that you are you are doing either like you want me like to speak you can be able like to get um to get all the information you want to know uh, through the uh, through the website awesome i'm sure after listening to this a lot of people will be contacting you so you might be over flooded <laughs> <laughs> thank you so William that was a top interview thank you so much you have one of the most inspirational stories of literally starting with hardly nothing scrap metals to solving a huge problem in your village I think you've really inspired the head starters out there and head starters if you were moved by William's story I encourage you to visit his website moving uh, movingwoodmills.org and leave a donation 
all donations go towards supporting uh, his community initiatives in Malawi. So remember Head Starters, you don't have to wait to follow your dreams. You can start now. Hey Head Starter, I hope you absorbed a lot from this episode. So remember to subscribe and let's try to get a million likes. A nice realistic goal. If you want to check out the full episode as a podcast, then check out the links below. Bye! No, no, we're not gonna, we don't have to put that there. <laughs>